Hey, we're adventuring. So we're going to meet up with our friends and I have a feeling that we went a different route because we're going to this boondocking spot up here in Michigan. We've got, uh, how many miles? Seven miles on a dirt road. So my guess is that GPS took us a different direction than what they went. Oh gosh, it's not the smoothest. What is it? What are you trying? Casting. And what? What the is the Uper? What is in the Uper? Very often get asked if we like our travel trailer and we really do like having a travel trailer over a fifth wheel and one of the major reasons is this right here so we're literally taking taking uh, what Google Maps sent us oncoming traffic and it took us on this crazy dirt road there's a lot of trees and our fifth wheel would not have liked this road it would have been too tall. It would have been an extreme struggle. Right now, I'm driving behind Melissa and I'm noticing that even our travel trailer on this road is very close to hitting a lot of trees. And our fifth wheel is, is about two feet taller. So it would be doable. Yes, the travel trailer is smaller. Yes, it doesn't have high ceiling. Yes, we have less stuff. But for the way that we travel, this is a huge perk for us. Is, is just knowing we can go down any road because like this is it's not off-roading but I, w I wouldn't want to have our fifth wheel right now so hope that helps a lot of people who are asking that's one of our biggest reasons is is the overhead we made it we are actually at a snowmobile staging area so we got all of our friends here by the way I think we might tour this ring tomorrow everybody circled up there's only one more toy hauler down here you know, just your casual 12 mile dirt road. Uh, our buddies Mike and Kay Google took them that way too with their Airstream. They said it was fun, just like we did. But yeah, we're here, we're settled in, and we got some fun activities. We didn't realize they planned some stuff for tomorrow, so we're excited. So we went and got a bunch of information at the Sable Visitor Center, right? That's where we were? Yeah. And. Today we we're kind of enjoying pictured rocks by land. We're gonna go to a lot of lookout points and whatnot. And today we're at Sable Falls, which is 500 foot. Waterfall. Waterfall. So hopefully it's cool. Yeah, we're, we're probably gonna do a hike. We do. We're doing a hike a and a lot of lookout tomorrow. points today, and then something else tomorrow. Going down is the easy part. These are very steep steps. It's slippery too. And slippery because it's like super moist, and we're in the jungle. In the jungle. Beer. <laughs> what? What? I What's up? Say something. Do something. Do something. Do something. My thought on the waterfall is that yes, it's 168 steps, but realistically, the better viewpoint is probably only 120 steps. It's this this viewpoint up here. All the way down to the bottom is kind of like, eh. And Melissa's doing a TikTok dance apparently. You know, just just vibing, just vibing. I told her to do something on the camera and she's like, I need to learn how to TikTok dance. Except this is YouTube. Yeah, so basically where we're going is a sand dune where they would chop down trees from the forest and then they would slide the logs down the sand into Lake Superior. Yeah. And that's how they did logging here. Just like Sleeping Bear, it's not recommended to go down the log slide area because it's very steep and difficult to climb up. Russ, we actually don't have time for you to go down today. I'm gonna say a word and you say the lumberjack word for it. Okay. Oh. 
pickaxe or grub hoe. Ground plane. <laughs> Sugar. Sand. Crystal. Meth. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. After hiking parts of Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore and tasting some pasties at Miners in Munising, we went on a glass bottom shipwreck tour to explore parts of Grand Island and South Bay. <laughs> seeing one so I'm not going to see it like I normally do. You look directly up ahead off to the left there's an eagle sitting in the tree. Recap, recap, recap of the boat situation. Shipwreck boat tours. You're a gangster <laughs> Yes, I am. What's this? What's up? This is my this is my go-to um humid AF hairstyle. Yeah boys, today we're out on a boat. <gasps> we're on a boat. Take I'm a on good... a God, look at the boat. Okay, anyways, that probably will not make the vlog, but the Never boat. Never thought I'd be on a boat. The boat was great, so we, that's something we normally would not we, choose to do ourselves. We wouldn't seek it out ourselves. But when we arrived at camp last night, uh, we had to book to secure a spot and Kate had just got us tickets and she's like, no worries, you can cancel in the morning if you don't want to go. And we're like, no, we're going to go. And it ended up being really cool. I mean, my favorite thing was like, they went into some of the rocks, like the pictured rocks type of areas, which was really cool. Yeah, I mean, it was like a sea cave. I don't know if it's really called a sea cave because we're not in the ocean, but anyway, yeah. that's basically what it was. And it was so awesome. They and got the, so close to the rocks. And the reason we did that activity is because they'll go out no matter what the weather, what we were told, because mm -hmm. you can still go and inside and look at the shipwrecks. And it ended up being a beautiful day. So we were outside on the deck. And then when they go over a ship, they call you down in different groups they bring you down and you're able to see the shipwrecks, which was really neat as well. Yeah, it was super fun. I definitely, we never would have done that if we had just been up here by ourselves doing our own thing. And I'm so glad that we did and that we're hanging out with people that are getting us outside of our, our regular normal. wheelhouse. Yeah, so it's great to hang out with friends, make friends on the road, because then you do, everybody has their different interests and everybody kind of pulls people in to their different interests, so. But our dog is barking and we're cooking dinner right now, so we're gonna go do that now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.